In 2012, the Department of Transportation reported that 86% of drivers wear safety belts. Suppose we have eight cars stopped at a light. What is the probability that exactly six of the drivers are wearing safety belts? What is the probability that there are less than six? And what is the probability none are wearing their safety belts? Okay, I'm going to identify this as a binomial problem in the sense that I'm going to look down at the conditions for a binomial experiment and see if they're satisfied. Number one, the experiment consists of a sequence of n identical trials. So I have eight cars at a light, eight cars, eight identical trials. Two outcomes are possible on each trial or each car. Uh, we refer to one as a success and the other as a failure. The two outcomes are either they're wearing their safety belt or they're not. If they are, that will be a, we'll call it a success and if they're not, a failure. The probability of success denoted by P does not change from trial to trial. Uh, we are told that 86% of uh, all drivers wear safety belts. So the probability that any one of those drivers is wearing their safety belt is 86%. So the probability of a success is 86%. And that does not change from trial to trial, from car to car. The trials are independent. Yes, we can say that they're independent. The probability that one of the drivers is wearing their safety belt is not going to be affected by whether the other drivers are wearing their safety belt. So all four conditions for the binomial experiment are satisfied. We can go ahead and treat this as a binomial experiment and use the binomial formula for calculating probabilities. So that would be f of x is equal to n choose x p to the x 1 minus p to the n minus x. And the n choose x formula goes back to the formula for combinations uh, earlier. And that is n factorial over x factorial times n minus x factorial. OK. So let's go ahead and start to calculate our probabilities. For part A, what is the probability that exactly six of the drivers out of the eight drivers are wearing safety belts? So I have eight cars. The probability of success on each car is 0.86. And the number of cars that um, I'm looking at here for wearing their safety belts is six. So I'm going to plug this into the formula f of 6. Notice the formula only uses n, p, and x. So if I can identify the number of trials, the probability of success, and the value of the random variable that I'm trying to find the probability for, I can just plug those all into the formula. So f of 6, the probability that there are exactly 6, that's exactly 6 drivers out of the 8 are wearing their safety belt. I will take 8 choose 6, and I will multiply that by the probability of success to the x power, or the 6 power, and then 1 minus 0.86 to the uh, n minus x, or 8 minus 6. OK, to calculate this, I'm going to start with uh, 8 choose 6, and I'm going to apply the formula for that to get that number. So I'll have 8 factorial over 6 factorial times 8 minus 6 factorial. So just plugging everything into the formula. And I've got um, 8 factorial over 6 factorial times 2 factorial. And we'll get some cancellation here. Now, 8 factorial is 8 times 7 
times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or really, it's 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. And I'm stopping there because I notice in the denominator I have a 6 factorial. And those will cancel. And I still have that 2 factorial in there. So 2 factorial is 2, which will go into 8. So I end up with 4 times 7, or 28. So 28, I'll put that in my formula, and then I'll proceed. Take the 0.86 to the 6th, and then 0.14 squared. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate that, and get my calculator 0.222, which is 22.2%. And uh, that will be the answer to my first question. What's the probability that out of eight cars, exactly six of the drivers are wearing safety belts? Now, part B is the probability that there are less than six. Now, I'm going to first recognize a fact here that f of 0 plus f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 plus f of 4 plus f of 5 plus f of 6 plus f of 7 plus f of 8 all have to add up to what? 1. In other words, what's the probability that uh, we have 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 of the drivers wearing their safety belts? Well, there's a 100% chance of that happening. Now, what I'm interested in here as far as Part B goes, I'm interested in x being less than 6, the random variable. So that is going to make me calculate uh, less than 6, strictly less than 6, is f of 0 plus f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 plus f of 4 plus f of 5. But it might be a little less work to take 1, subtract, take 1, subtract, um, f of 6, which I've already calculated, plus f of 7, in other words, subtract this entire sum, plus f of 8, subtract that whole sum from 1. That would be fewer calculations. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, I know what f of 6 is. So I'd have 1 subtract 0.222. Now I need f of 7. To calculate f of 7, we'll go down here in the left corner. f of 7 would be 8 to 7, and then 0.86 to the 7th power, and point, or 1 subtract 0.86, which is 0.14, to the uh, 8 subtract 7 power, which is 1. And then I will find 8 choose 7 using my combination formula there. So I'd have 8 factorial over um, 7 factorial times 8 minus 7 factorial. And that's 8 factorial over 7 factorial times 1 factorial. 1 factorial is 1. So this just turns out to be, now I notice 7 factorial in the denominator there. So 8 factorial is just 8 times 7 factorial. And I get the cancellation, so I just end up with 8. So my calculation for f of 7 will be 8 times 0.8 6 to the 7th times 0.14. And that will end up being 
nine seven. And I'm going to go ahead now and add that into my calculation. So I'm going to put the point three eight nine seven here. And now I need to find f of eight. So f of eight will be eight choose eight times point eight six to the eighth power and point one four to the eight minus eight or zero power, which it would end up being one. Now eight choose eight is eight factorial over eight factorial times eight subtract eight, which is zero factorial. Now one factorial is one, but zero factorial is also uh, one. And eight factorial cancels with eight factorial, so this just ends up being one. So the answer here is one times point eight six to the eighth times one. And that will give me point two nine nine two. And I'm going to add that. And then subtract everything from one. That will give me point zero eight nine one, which I will approximate as eight point nine percent. And that is my answer to the question, what is the probability that less than six of the drivers uh, will be wearing their safety belts? There's an 8.9% chance of that. Now let's go ahead and do part C. I'm going to go way over here to the side for part C. I wanted to calculate the probability that none would be wearing their safety belts. And that would be f of 0. So in other words, x is equal to 0, that there are none wearing their safety belts. And plugging all that into the formula, a out of 8 cars that none are wearing their safety belts, 0.86, that would be now to the 0 power, and 0.14, and then 8 subtract 0 would be 8. So that would be 0.14 to the 8th. Let's see what 8 choose 0 is. That would be 8 factorial over 0 factorial times 8 minus 0 factorial, which would be 8 factorial. Now, 0 factorial is 1. And uh, I would have 8 factorial in the denominator. So these would cancel, in a sense. And I would have 1. So f of 0 would be equal to 1 times 1 times 0.14 to the 8th. And that would be equal to, now my calculator gives me one point four um, seven six times ten to the negative seven and that would be z point zero 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 one four seven six which is approximately 0. So what's my answer? When there's an 86% chance that every one of those cars is going to be wearing their seat belts, out of 8 cars, the probability that none would have their seat belts on is really 0. It would really be 0 chance of that happening. Now, 
Theoretically, it could happen, but it's so small, it's practically 0%.